In this video, I'll show you how to design a dynamic multi-scorecard matrix. This will allow you to show multiple KPIs in one single visual, instead of using several cards and other elements. First impressions suggest that both look similar, but the largest differentiator and most important is the amount of elements used. As we can see, by using the dynamic matrix approach, there are far fewer elements. The benefit and advantage of using the dynamic matrix method is clearly demonstrated when there is no relevant data to display. Instead of showing blank fields, the visual hides irrelevant sections for a much cleaner presentation. This would not only improve performance, but would also allow data to load faster when interacting with the visuals, slicers, or filters, instead of long delays when switching between tabs or pages. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. Oh, and make Miguel happy by liking this video.